what happens when you cross this with this? You end up getting something like this. The little potato cucumber. <laughs>
and I'll show you what they kind of normally look like. They kind of look like this a little bit. They don't normally get that big, but they get a little big. They, they should be elongated and longer. There's another one. See? They, they, they normally get a little bigger, but they should be elongated. Sort of like, you know, like that. They should be more like that, but they're not. They're kind of round. So, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but nevertheless, I got a couple cucumbers out of it this year. Looks like most of my cucumbers... They're dying back early this year. I, it's all attributed to the soil that I put down. Uh, apparently the soil was bad. You could see the tomatoes all got tomato wilt. So I won't be doing too many tomato reviews this year because pretty much all my tomatoes are just going to die or they're going to make small tomatoes. So whatever I get tomato-wise, I'll, I'll do reviews on. But yeah, the soil was bad, so the cucumbers didn't do that well. But yeah, they did all right. I mean, the cecum cucumbers that really didn't come out good at all. Here's a cecum cucumber. It didn't even form right. So that's because the soil is diseased. So we will be getting rid of the soil at the end of the year, and I'm going to have to truck new soil in next year because the soil is complete garbage. You know, once you get these diseases like wilt virus and all that stuff and wilt fungal disease, you got to get rid of the soil. It's got to go, even if you got to dig it out of the ground. So I have to get new soil. But anyway, what we'll do is we will bring this inside and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to use it for my salad, but I'm going to give you a taste test on the inside. So, so why don't we go inside? We'll cut it open. We'll take a look at the seeds. We'll, look, we'll give it a taste test and we will go from there. Okay, so I will see you on the inside. Okay, so here we are. We got the little potato cucumber here and I'm going to cut this open but I wanted to show it to you first. I cleaned it up and took all little spikes off it and everything like that. So we'll cut it open and we'll see what it tastes like. Okay, so it's cut open and basically this is what it looks like on the inside. I cut it like there's the bottom, so I cut it that way, you know what I mean, sideways rather than, you know, the other way straight on. So that's what it looks like. These are a little bit past where you would want them. You see how they're hollow in the middle? So they're a little riper than I probably should have waited. The seeds are very mature. So I'm going to be saving the seed cities. I'm not going to eat all the rind, but I mean the uh, seedy part. I'm not going to eat that. I'm just going to eat the rind. And so those seeds I'll save for next year. But let's give it a go. I cut a little piece off and let's see what it tastes like. Tastes just like cucumber. Um, nothing special about it. The seed part is a little bit getting bitter. Like I said, these are a little bit past their prime. Apparently, I left it on there a little longer than I probably should have. But nevertheless, you can still eat the rind, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Tastes fine to me. Uh, like I say, you know, if they're if your cucumbers are a little riper than they should be, take the seeds out with a spoon. I'm going to be adding this to my salad. That's basically it. So it tastes just like a regular cucumber. The skin texture, it's a little bit scaly almost. It's kind of like eating the cecum cucumber where the skin is very thick and kind of coarse. If you get these when they're still green and young, well, not green, like you can see that's still kind of getting green. If you get these when they're young, the skins are fine. But even now, like, I don't mind that crispy skin like that. To me, that's fine. I would recommend you pick these when they're kind of still young. And they're going to be a lot smaller than this. This has gotten quite big. So you probably want to get them where they're about half that size and they're probably good. That's before the seeds develop and everything. Get them when they're a lot smaller. But I have a couple more out there. I'm going to let them finish ripening so I can get the seeds from those as well. That's it. So there's your little potato cucumber. So if you see these on Baker Creek or one of those websites and you want to try them, give them a go. I'd say they're probably a good cucumber. This year for me, cucumbers didn't do too good for me. The soil was bad, so I didn't get that many cucumbers, but I got enough. It did produce cucumbers. I'm sure from next year, the seeds that I get from these are going to produce a lot better and a lot more cucumbers now that they've been cycled a year. So... All right, so uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.